Hello everyone, and welcome to my newest build, a renovation of the Willow Creek Park. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while. I've actually attempted it a few times and just really didn't like where I was going with it. So backed off, did some other things, and now I finally found a park I'm happy with. That being said, look forward to another Willow Creek refresh in probably a month or so. <laughs> this one is multiple packs. And I did this because I wanted it available in the save file I am creating for myself that I may eventually uh, share with you guys, but not anytime real soon. I'm working on a pack specific world if you're new to this channel. And that is part of my Townie Refresh series, so check that out if you haven't already. So, with this park build, I still wanted it to feel like maybe a small suburban slash maybe country park. So, it has some, you know, modern amenities, but it still has that kind of rural feel with the dirt pathing and that type of thing. So that's kind of where I wanted to go with that. I debated about putting in pathing, but I really like the look of the dirt. So I kept it. That's really what it is. So what I wanted to do with this is create some spaces. So you can see I have this pavilion here, and now I'm working on a little gazebo. Just something to, you know, kind of add a few little fun places to. I wanted it to look like it was a park that had been there for a while, and maybe they were slowly upgrading it. So we have the basketball court, the addition of a pool, you know, a, a playground that'll look newer by the end of the build, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> but that was kind of my mindset with this is you know this has been the willow creek park for a long time so the gazebo was put in when it started you know some of these pathways maybe the fountain you know was put in but things have changed over time and i actually started this build and was probably about a half hour or 45 minutes into it, and my game completely crashed. <laughs> so when I looked to see what was left, you know, what I was left with, I realized I hadn't saved since the first, like, five minutes of the build. So I actually started this over, and it is very similar to the layout I started with. There's a few changes. But overall, I like this better than what I originally came up with. I just think it, you know, it screams kind of that, I don't know, city park. It reminds me of a park that I went to as a child um, in a somewhat major city. I'm not going to say which one because the park has changed quite a bit since... I went there and people will be looking at me like I'm crazy unless they happen to live there in the early 90s. So, <laughs> but they had a pool area, uh, water slides, which we don't have for the Sims. And, you know, kind of like a snack area in the pool and then a playground. So that part of the build is inspired by my childhood um, where the rest of this build is just kind of you know what would you see in a standard park I also wanted to make it interesting by adding some like platforms and some you know different things but I didn't want to go too crazy so 
there's some additions, but I kept it very, I don't want to say rural because it's not rural looking, but maybe natural looking to an extent with these few areas that have been added. So here I decided to put in some uh, chess tables and a nice little like, you know, covered area. You can see I'm playing with the different coverings, trying to figure out what I liked most. And I decided on these here, mostly because I like the flowers and the white that I could get. It works with everything else I have going on. I did use paneling from Island Living for the uh, outside of the pool buildings. I just thought it fit. I wanted something kind of bright and fun. I didn't want it to look like all white or, you know, kind of basic. I wanted something a little bright. I also, if you noticed, added a gate with the intent of you could lock that. Unfortunately, I it didn't work. So my advice would be take the gate out if you're there in the winter. I do have the get together vents, but that doesn't seem to work for me. And I even put geothermal on this thing. I, I don't, I give up when it comes to pools, but I wanted a pool here. So my advice is just take that gate out if your Sims are going to be playing. Now, I did notice I took my Sims in the winter to play test this. And I did notice other Sims going in. I left the gate, left it open just to see what would happen. And it didn't look like I had any issues. But I don't know. With my luck, if I had taken my Sims into the pool, they would have frozen to death. So, so yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah, just take that gate out if it becomes an issue. That's one reason I put the gate there, is so you could easily, you know, block it off. I was hoping the lock would work, but it did not. So, I also wanted to put, you know, bathrooms, showers, the typical things you find at most pools. So, I added that in... We have this little, like, food stall area. I know technically we can't do this in The Sims, but you know how a lot of pools are. If, if you're buying food, it's got to be in that, you know, vicinity. So I did that. And that is the only full food stall I added because they do pop up around this park in the outside areas. So what I tried to do was create, like, the pavilion where I knew one popped up or close to where one popped up and then of course there's one that pops up over by where the skating rink will show up if you have seasons and I didn't put anything over there for food but I probably should have <laughs> after I looked at it I went yeah I should put a table or something over there but I didn't there is a small little seating area not far from it that I put for the playground. You can see it there. I did not record that. I thought I was recording and was not. And I didn't want to go back and redo it. I'm going to be honest. Um, it wasn't that big of a deal. So it's a platform and some seating. <laughs> so <laughs> there is another platform place in this video with a gazebo where all of a sudden it will have landscaping around it. That was due to my error of not planning well with my OneDrive. And my OneDrive started back up. I didn't realize it. And so the recording for that was not the greatest. I did realize it as I was finishing up the landscaping around the gazebo. So, yeah, I just, again, one of those where I'm like, it's not, I don't think it's that big of a deal. If you guys don't see it, you see the finished product. So, that is more important, right? 
No. The whole reason I do these is so you watch the belts. I, I understand and I apologize for that mix up. But for those of you who may not know, I am moving officially when this goes live on Monday. So I just don't have time to necessarily go back and rebuild things when mistakes happen like that or, you know, karma happens. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it happens. So, yeah. Also, I mentioned in my last video, and it is still up, I have a poll online for summer posting. I am going to be going down to one a week for multiple reasons. And I want to know what day you want me to post. I am pausing on the Townie Refresh series. Um, what I'm going to be doing is probably one or two builds a month that will be redoing some of the other lots in base game worlds. And then the other two will be just whatever I want to build or whatever you'd like to see. I do have a couple in the pipeline still of user, you know, user viewer request. So those will be coming this summer. And it's mostly just, I have a lot going on. I may be doing overtime at work, still haven't heard on that yet. And I'm also gonna be starting a podcast. <laughs> so it's more of getting you know my life situated and my schedule situated. So I figured going down to one video a week would help for that. Now, my goal with that is to also have a good stockpile of videos for you when I come back in September at two a week. All right. So anyway, back to the part. I didn't plan on talking about that that long. So again, I wanted this to be a very like natural looking park. So I had to add, you know, trees and I struggled with what trees I wanted to add and how I wanted to do it. Originally, I wasn't going to do a lot of like floral and bushes and all that. It was going to be more trees. But as I got in here, I realized I needed some more of that. So that's what I'm doing now and trying to figure out this pool area. Originally, I kind of pictured it having these, you know, cute little flower beds, things like that. But I didn't like the look. It wasn't giving me the vibe I wanted. I wanted that more natural look. So eventually, you'll see, I take those, you know, planners out and I figure out something else to do with it. And I like it. If you don't like it, take out what I did, put the planners in, they're in debug. But you can see I kind of play with it quite a bit, trying to get this area filled in. And it just wasn't working with me. But, 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 I eventually, after some time, figure out what I wanted, what I was picturing. And I added this grass in. And the reason I did this, well, not that grass, but this grass. <laughs> the reason I did this is, again, there was a pool that I went to that that's kind of how it looked around the outside. It was a little overgrown. The pool itself was well taken care of, but it was a little overgrown. And that is what I wanted. And once I realized that is what I wanted, everything came together very quickly. All right. So here I decided to use these debug trees from Cottage Living. I mean, I believe you can pull the tree itself in. It's the lights that are technically debug. Because I wanted the lights. I thought that would be a cool addition to this park. And here I'm adding some trees kind of on the side because this area is so blank. I'm hoping I did it right where it's not going to affect things coming into that area. As I said, there is a food stall that seemed to pull in just well, 
just fine, so hopefully I got that in the right spot. All right, so here I am decorating around the gazebo. As you can see, magically it has a whole bunch of landscaping. <laughs> and also around the bathroom here. I wanted a couple of bathrooms. Mostly because if you do take that gate out in the winter, you have another bathroom to go into. And really also so that you wouldn't necessarily have to go all the way to the front ones. I know there's more off lot as well, but you know, Sims in the bathroom. They use the wrong ones anyway. And I'm finding when I play tested, they kept wanting to use the pool ones. <laughs> so be prepared for that. So this other thing, I wanted stuff to do here. So I put in this cool little, like, supposed to be a picnic area. Eventually I find the picnic basket. But before that, I got distracted by, oh yeah, nupscotch and marbles that I can add. Again, I wanted lots of activities. And I have a mod that allows toddlers to be, to appear on the lots. So if you have that, I can't remember which one that is. I believe I got it off CurseForge, but that helps with getting toddlers into that play area, and it works pretty well. Um, it also has like an infants one, but I found with that, your sims are going to be carrying infants to wherever they need to go because the parents drop them and leave them. So... <laughs> So I don't use that one too much. But I like it. I like that it's there and available. All right. So anyway, as you can see, just kind of doing some more landscaping and finishing up the build. All right, guys. I am just going to talk through these photos because really, there's not too many of them. I hope you guys like this build. I really think if a lot of this had been available in base game, it would be similar to this. Uh, I know the Sims teams worked with what they had, and it wasn't a bad park. I just wanted more to do because, you know, I have more packs. And I'm sure many of you feel the same way. So, I hope, again, you enjoy this. Let me know if you download it and what you think. All right, guys, I will see you next week after my move on Tuesday. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye now.